As you probably already know, we're in the middle of an AI revolution that's taking place right now. And with good reason, some churches are kind of reluctant about jumping on board. Well, in this video, I'm gonna unpack six chat GPT prompts that pastors are using to save 15 hours every week. Let's do this. It seems like everywhere you turn right now, People are talking about ChatGPT and AI and the huge impact that it's making in all aspects of our life. I think that within a couple of years, it'll be so ubiquitous that everybody will be using AI for common everyday tasks. But I think churches have been a little bit cautious about jumping on board with some of these AI tools and with good reason. Obviously, we shouldn't be using AI tools to write our sermons. That's a God-ordained process that should be led by the Holy Spirit. But there are some things that we pastors do day in and day out that we could probably hand off to an AI assistant that will make our lives much easier and still we'd be able to maintain the core of what's important with the gospel. So I'm going to give you six different prompts that I've seen pastors have success with, but take these prompts, change them to fit your specific circumstances, and we'd love to hear how they work for you in the comments below. The first prompt is a tool to help you find quick biblical references. We've all been there when we're preparing a sermon and you're trying to remember what is that verse that's about this? Ask ChatGPT, find Bible verses related to the theme of perseverance during challenging times, include passages from both the Old and New Testaments. Use a prompt like that and ChatGPT will do the brainstorming for you and help you find those. You always wanna make sure that the verse that ChatGPT recommends is the right verse, but it should get you going in brainstorming the verses for your next sermon. The second prompt is one for quick social media content ideas. This is something that takes pastors and church leaders hours every single week. You're trying to think of something clever or witty to say. Maybe it's about an event or a sermon that's coming up. And ChatGPT can help you with some ideas that you can then take and run with. Here's the prompt. Suggest five inspirational social post ideas based on the theme of faith in times of uncertainty. Include quotes, Bible verses, and questions for reflection. Use a prompt like this, and you'll save yourself hours every week of coming up with those ideas. Now, not every idea is gonna be a home run and one that you can run with, and chances are, you'll probably have to do some editing and add your own spin on things. But ChatGPT can get you a head start that will make a real difference. The third idea is using ChatGPT for event planning and brainstorming. Events are a huge part of every church now, and a lot of times we tend to get bogged down and trying to think of new ideas and ways we can make our events fresh and new. Well, ChatGPT can help you with that. Here's a prompt idea. ChatGPT suggests three unique event ideas for a church's youth group aimed at fostering spiritual growth, community engagement, and fun for the participants. If you put in a prompt like this, ChatGPT is gonna give you some great ideas. Now, I don't expect the AI to give you a perfect event for your context, but the great thing about ChatGPT is you can actually clarify your prompt. So don't be afraid that once it gives you some ideas to go back and give you some new ideas based on some new criteria. Have fun with these prompts and you'll get better results. The fourth idea is a really great one. You can use it to help with your volunteer coordination. Let's face it, managing a team of volunteers can be really challenging work. Everybody has their own ideas of how they want things done and you need some things that set standards and usually it helps to have those standards and procedures written down in a clear and concise way. Well, ChatGPT can do that for you. ChatGPT, create a volunteer coordination guide for a church food drive event, including volunteer roles, responsibilities, and a sample schedule for the day. A prompt like this won't spit back the exact right SOP for your specific event that's coming up, but rest assured, it'll at least get you going in the right direction. And from there, you can edit it to make sure it matches your schedule and what you want your volunteers to be doing. In this case, ChatGBT is just great for getting you a head start. This could save you hours. A fifth idea is for you to gather inspirational quotes. Whether you're planning a sermon or you're just looking for new ideas for social media posts, quotes can be a great source. But the challenge is finding quotes can be hard. You'll be looking all over different sites on the internet, but you can actually let ChatGPT help you with some of those quote ideas. 
Here's the prompt. Provide a selection of five inspiring quotes on the theme of gratitude from renowned Christian figures, authors, and theologians, along with a brief explanation of their relevance to the topic. Use a prompt like this and you'll wind up with five great quote ideas, and then you can start to look through and see which one you like best. Chances are you'll probably find one that you do like, but if not, you can say, hey, give me five more and see what comes back. The sixth idea might be the biggest time saver of them all. You can use ChatGPT to help you write your sermon descriptions. Now, I wanna clarify, do not use ChatGPT to write sermons. That's not the way you should do it. Rely on the Holy Spirit for that. But one of the things that I hear is the most tedious for pastors is putting together your sermon descriptions for your website and for sites like YouTube. The sermon descriptions are so important. We've done a whole video about how you're supposed to put those in and the kind of impact they can make. Spoiler, they can actually triple your views by getting these things right. But you can actually ask ChatGPT to help you write your descriptions for sites like YouTube. Here's the prompt. Write a compelling and concise YouTube description for a sermon titled Embracing Change, Trusting God in Life's Transitions, highlighting key themes and encouraging viewers to watch and engage with the video. If you use a prompt like this, it will spit back a description that may or may not be a perfect fit for your sermon, but then you can go back and ask ChatGPT to hone that based on the points that you hit in your sermon. Another little tip is don't be afraid to ask the AI to help you with a title that is keyword optimized for YouTube. It can usually give you some title ideas that if you run with, will get you more clicks. Now again, I wanna close by reminding you that ChatGPT cannot and should not and will never be a replacement for the power of the Holy Spirit. You have to rely on God for your inspiration. So do not delegate the things you should be praying about to an AI software. That is a huge no-no. But I think these prompts, if you use them, will actually save you hours a week of busy work that will actually allow you to redeem that time and use that for things that only you can do. But maybe you found some prompts that are really working for you in your ministry context. We'd love to hear more about them. Let us know in the comments below. If this video has been helpful to you, it would mean a lot to us if you would subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.